I'm Professor Lucy Rogers. I am an inventor with a sense of fun. So what that actually means for me is that I make one-offs that people need. So I have made a concertina that breaks for a comedy, um, a comedy band. This little dinosaur, so that if you tweet it, it nods. This little bunny rabbit, it's got a little heart on it. And if my nieces want to send a message to my mum, their grandma, they just press its tail and it sends a text message to my mum. And my mum can send a text message to the bunny rabbit and the heart glows. So when they're too young to have phones themselves, they can still send messages to, to grandma. So I make those things and then I write them up. I make them for people who have the great idea, but don't usually have a huge budget. But then there are technical companies who actually need great ideas and attention grabbing stuff. And they want me to write it up in articles or how to's. And that's generally how I make my living. My work is very, very varied. So one day I might be uh, writing a script or recording a podcast. Another day I might actually be purchasing for a project that I know is coming up. Another day I might actually be making the stuff and that's the bit that I really love most. And sometimes I'm learning new software so that I can edit what I've done. Um, I'm now doing a lot of TikToks and I'm learning some video editing software so I can actually cut what I'm doing, so I can show what I'm making and then actually cut it uh, to fit the, the 60 second limit of TikToks. I'm self-employed. So I have to do all the stuff about running a company. So I have to do the accounts and I have to do my PAYE and I have to pay my tax and I have to put input all my receipts. And to be fair, I find that a drudge, but it's part and package of actually working for myself and being able to do the fun things. I actually love finding the new ideas um, and people coming up to me and saying, I have this idea for a thing and I need to make this thing and I've looked around and you can't just buy it. But another bit that I really could do without is the uh, purchasing. I dislike shopping. I really, really dislike shopping. And if I've got to buy something for, um, for what I'm making, be it some electronics or a resistor or an LED, and there's so much choice, and I'm reading through the data sheets, and so I just want one. I just want one that works. Just give me one. Um, so yeah, the shopping bit, I can do without. Because I make so many different things, it's usually the thing that I'm working on now that I love the most, or the most recent project. Um, but some things stick in my mind because I'm working with people or in industries that I would never have dreamt of. So a dressmaker got in touch with me and we started talking. Oh, she said, I have been looking for years for eight inch mannequins, so the dressmaker's dummies, because we make tiny dresses that we can take to the shows, but they look so flat. But all the tiny mannequins you can get, all the dolls, they're not really human shaped. And so I found some software and I, I drew these, these uh, ladies shapes, uh, mannequins, and I printed them off. And now she's got all this array of all these little dresses um, that, that have been yeah, sitting on the 3D mannequins and they look fantastic. So, you know, that was just one of those things where I would never have dreamt to go up to a dressmaker and say, I think you need a 3D printed eight inch mannequin. Um, but as soon as someone asked me, I said, yes, yeah, I can do that. <laughs>